Let's call the meeting to order. Are we recording? Yes, I see it there. <laughs> it's 5.31, welcome everybody. Happy New Year to everybody. Hopefully everyone had a little time to rest. It's nice to see everybody's face here today. I, I wanted to start quickly just by acknowledging that letter that I sent you all. I don't see that we have a lot of community members here today, but I just want the staff to know that, you know, we you know, we understand how stressful everything is right now and that we really appreciate everything that they are doing to keep our schools open, our our kids needs and to keep everybody engaged. And I just wanted to say that out loud before we start the meeting. Um, and now let's just move. I don't see any public here. And I know that Jody is here to support the warning. Yeah. So let's move right into the into the agenda. Uh, no guests. Uh, uh, any agenda revisions? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so you all got this afternoon, uh, just a few minutes ago, the, the warning. I'm going to share it on. Uh, do you want me to share it on the screen or are you okay with just having it? Uh, if you could share it on the screen, just because I, I can't access it okay. while I'm on the phone. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that here Thank you. right now. Sorry, just taking me a minute there. Share screen. Can you see it? I'm just going to share the desktop because so it's, can you see it? Yep. I'm going to reduce you guys so that you can see that. Okay. So basically this is the warning. You guys are familiar with the warning similar to what, what we did for our district. I'm going to give you a few minutes to read it. The, the only thing that I didn't change here is we'll insert a date uh, for everybody to stop by and sign because everybody will need to sign this in our budget warning to and the other warning that we approved. <laughs> We're going to need everybody's signature so we will have it available for everybody to stop by the office and, and sign it. it. So I'll insert this date uh, tomorrow because uh, I believe that's when we will be uh, uh, submitting it to central office, not tonight. Um, that's any questions? Do, can I stop sharing or? Thank you. Scott. Uh, Fleur, yes. um, article one on this version, um, does that also need to say Washington Central Unified Union or? Uh, sorry, can't hear. I believe it does. I can't remember what it was when Flora shared that. I know that she received that from me late yesterday because I yes. hadn't yes. put together everything that needed to be put together. So I apologize for that. And then yeah. I, it looks like she filled it in with all of the information. So she probably missed that one. I, I missed that one, completely missed that one. So yeah, and I even revised it again this afternoon before I sent it to you. So I will, I'm, I'm revising that as we speak right now. Uh, Lisa, hopefully you see that. Uh, so I will insert the date uh, of tomorrow in that and on tomorrow just for the day that it will be received at central office. And then uh, I'm gonna change that in article one. Thank you. Um, I'm changing it right now so I can't see you. Any other questions? Yeah, sorry, I, I just realized I can't see. I Any would just questions? add, thank you for letting me be here and for taking this on, um, that this 
is just what we need. Each of our school districts are sending school districts to approve so that it can the language can be on the ballot for March 1st across all 18 sending school towns. And we can find out if we'll create a new Central Vermont Career Center district or not. And in the packet, we had that little flyer for the 10 reasons. Before we were just using that as a warning, but we needed a formal, a formal warning. So any other discussion, any other questions? Otherwise I'll be looking for a motion. Uh, Scott, is that a new question or is that your hand from the previous? Oh, you're frozen, I think. It's new. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, just, uh, I'm sorry, I'm so nitpicking, but in article two in the first line, um, the ensuing term commencing, I believe, March 2nd, 2022, uh, uh, with a C in place of the D. Let me get to there. First line of Article 2. I'm there. Okay. Come in. Oh. Yeah, I didn't put that in. That came from... Uh... Okay, so are you okay with that, Jody? Yeah, I'll try to update it on everyone else's. Okay, yeah, and I'll send you this. Thank you. Okay. Four? Yeah, sorry. I'd I'm, like to move. I'm, I'm, I... trying to, I'm trying to type at the same time and I don't see everybody, okay. Um, I'd ahead. like to move that we, I'd like to move that we uh, approve the warning um, with the uh, with the changes um, noted by Scott, okay. an excellent copy editor, it turns out. Thank you. Second. Second by Diane. Who is that, Diane? Yeah. Who is Diane? Okay. Any other discussion? <laughs> Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So the motion carries. Any opposed? I should have done that before, but I heard all eyes. Okay. Uh, now let's move into personnel. And we have some uh, teachers in 4.1. Uh, Lindy, are you prepared to, to do the new high? Oh, no, because you just came. Can I've, I have something I've got it. else? You okay. Yeah, I move to approve uh, the new teacher nomination for Jenna Howard as a Callis Elementary School literate, Literacy Interventionist. Second. Second. Ursula? Okay. Yeah. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion carries. Um, and then we have one, uh, one resignation. I will move to accept the resignation of Erica Moore, U32 school social worker. Thank you, Jonas. Could I have a second? Second. Okay. <laughs> Carrie, no, you want to. All right, Carrie seconds. Yeah. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Thank you. Yeah. And that's all we had for, for that. And I'm gonna give it now to Jen to update us in vacancies. Sure. We just reviewed the vacancies today and we're getting closer overall. We have a paraeducator position and the lead maintenance position at Berlin still. We are still looking for a 10 hour paraeducator position at East Montpelier and the student services support person at Romney. Um, we have a, the driver's ed position remains open. I wanna say a little bit more about that in a few minutes at U32. Um, there's a vacancy for a food service worker and an administrative assistant. We're, we're making things work, but we're still looking. Um, we're looking for a long-term sub for the library and now the social worker position at U32. And across the district, we have a paraeducator for early childhood special education that we're still looking for. Um, the Berlin special educator, 
Um, that's the position where we we're filling it, but we'd like to move to an instructional coach position. We are also looking for a, um, a driver for student transportation and um, a site coordinator for some schools that, through community connections. Driver said, if you will remember a few months ago in the fall, we came to you with this dilemma and um, we have a memorandum of understanding. We had an agreement that the memorandum of understanding for us to um, work with outside agencies before and, and as we're still actively seeking somebody, um, mute, both parties could mutually agree to extend that memorandum of understanding for the second semester. Um, and the current MOU expires on January 14th. So um, we're aware of it at the Labor Management Committee meeting, and I've been working directly with um, Kate McCann primarily to just uh, get the wording right for extending that memorandum of understanding into second semester. There's a clause in there also that um, should we need to, uh, we'll meet in April and figure out if we're good for the summer and we've met everybody's needs or if we aren't and we continue to actively recruit. So those are the current vacancies. Thank you, Jen. So that is that is all we, we had. And then we're gonna jump into this other meeting with, uh, with, with Berlin uh, for today. So uh, join us. Yeah, sorry, just Jen, one quick question about the community letter that just went out. Um, am I reading you correct that the districts from the, the testing on Monday, the district's positivity rate is roughly comparable to the 12.6% seen in the state? Yeah, you are. And I will be prepared in my community letter that goes out each Thursday to provide some numbers for you um, a little bit more concretely. I don't have those numbers in front of me, but I will make sure to um, to get them and include them. But yeah, Maria had checked uh, in. Of course, the, that was from, from Maria, not you. My apologies. Yeah, no worries. She checked in with the Department of Health because we have that question given our current case count. Thanks for that question. Do you want me to step in, Jonas? I do have those numbers in my head. Um, yeah, please. I, um, I don't want to hold anybody up, but I, as a parent, I would love to hear that. Sure. So I can tell you that we, um, as a district, had 85 cases from August to December, from the start of school until December 22nd. And we have had 72 cases since December 22nd, which is in a two week period. So it's a pretty significant um, change. And the, the comparison to that 12.6, is that based on surveillance testing that was conducted on Monday that we now have results for? Um, I haven't actually had time today to put that um, number together. I was working from the fact that with the cases that we're aware of, and so they're, slight, they're slightly different um, metrics, actually. I was working with, if we have uh, 72 cases in two weeks, we double that to get a month. Our average has been 20 a month. Um, so we're looking at, um, what, 150 cases in a month. Um, we also know that we have about 40 to 50 kids out in the district who currently can't find a testing location that are sick. Um, so we're assuming a good bit of those are also positive. So if you get us a little bit closer up to 200, that ends up being um, at 10 times our normal rate of positivity. And okay. I can get Jen the percentages you asked for for tomorrow. That, that's great. And, you know, after, <clears throat> after the round of testing tomorrow as well, you know, seeing where that positivity rate goes uh, is going to be super important it, for, for my family's decision making. So I'd love to hear that. And thank you guys for what you're doing. I didn't mean to open a can of worms. Yeah, so oh, Maria? We have what? a few minutes. So hold on a minute, Chris. So Lindy yes. was, was first. Sure, sorry. Okay. 
Lindy. Mine's super simple, but the chat's disabled, so I couldn't send it to you more. Rosie LaCare's name is misspelled on that. And so I can text Jody and let her know to change it. But I think you were making some change for us. There's no yeah, capital I, key. I'm, I'm going to make all the changes and send it to Jody. We, we just okay. got it. It literally, yes. Yeah, it's been quite a process. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'll make that. I, yeah, I'll make that change right now, too. Thank you. Okay, next was Ursula and then. A quick question on the um, COVID positive numbers. And I was curious if it, those included um, positive cases self-reported from the testing that was sent out, like Department of Health gave out testing kits to all the school age kids um, for those who wanted it. And is that where those numbers were coming from? Those numbers are coming um, from self self-reported from the family um, and our results from testing over the last three days at school. Some have been rapid tests, some have been PCRs. Thanks. Sorry, I was muted. McKaylee? Um, well, since you brought up the spelling of the names, um, just the first letter of my first and last name were capitalized, not the other letters. Um, and then also, um, I'm curious, have there been positive cases in all the schools in the district? Um, all but one. Dodie, one. sorry, it's not a secret. Dodie <laughs> doesn't have any cases. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't know why I was being <laughs> mysterious. Yeah. Okay, uh, now we have Diane. Uh, yeah, I appreciate all the information and I do think it's critical. What I would caution us though is from making some suppositions. And I, I worry that some of, some of that data that was being shared that we might be up to 200 because some kids are out sick um, and that. So I think it is critical for us to have the information about what cases are out there but I think we need to be very black and white in what we present and only go on the data that we have right in front of us and, and let the rest of us apply all, what we think to that. But I, I think it, we need to be cautious uh, about our interpretation of some of that. And I don't mean any of that in a disrespectful way. I, I appreciate all that you are doing. I just wanted to put a little word of caution out there. I heard you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Chris, sorry, <laughs> make you wait. No, Chris, no thanks for the information. So we have 72 positive cases that we know about based on self-reported testing. Is that right? Correct. Uh, and what, what was the basis of saying that we basically would double that? Just to get a month because it's a two week, two week and then you want a month calculation? Correct. So between the start of school and December 22nd, essentially four months, we had um, close to, we had 85 cases, right. right? So if we just had, the, it's the beginning of the Omicron spread, we just had 72 cases in 14 days. So if we project an average, that gives me the numbers that I was looking at. Okay, so we'll switch it. Okay. Um, thank you very much. Okay. Seeing no other hands up. I think everybody can have a little break before we jump into the next uh, into the next meeting. Any questions? Jill, I see that you unmuted. Do you have a question? Uh, just it's 615 is the next one, right? Just making sure I'm tracking. Yeah, okay. Yeah, six fifty is the next one, and no, no decisions. And you know, sorry about the warning. I just got it. I didn't. I should have reviewed everything. So I will, I'll send it out, and I might email you so to get a final view. Yeah. Okay. So Chloe, can we just stay connected, or do we have to sign? Do we have to sign in? No, tomorrow? that's what I. In that email, I sent you the link. It's in your calendar, but I also okay. sent the link because we're not running it. Is the okay. town of Berlin that is running it? So the link is there. Okay, thank you very much. Everybody for okay. being here. Bye. See you soon. Bye. See you soon.